In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate today the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In actual fact, it was her, we celebrate her self-giving of herself for the service of God. She is preeminently, first of all, the greatest disciple of the Lord, whom she welcomed as a mother into her life. We remember that we too, in a small way, are to welcome Our Lady into our lives. I welcome Lord Jesus, the Son of Mary, into our lives to carry him to others. We pray for the dedication, something of the dedication of Our Lady. We call to mind our sins. I celebrate this Mass on this Saturday morning for the, for the happy repose of the soul of Jill Castleford and the Castleford family. Jill was from Flugborough. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You're the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You're the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. Sing, rejoice, daughter of Zion, for I am coming to dwell in the middle of you. It is the Lord who speaks. Many nations will join the Lord on that day. They will become his people, but he will remain among you, and you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. But the Lord will hold Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and again make Jerusalem his very own. Let all mankind be silent before the Lord, for he is awakening and coming from his holy dwelling. The Word of the Lord. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He looks on his servant in her nothingness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He casts the mighty from their thrones embraces the lowly, he fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. The Almighty works marvels for me, 
holy is his name. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Happy are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus was speaking to the crowds when his mother and his brothers appeared. They were standing outside and were anxious to have a word with him. But to the man who told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven, he is my brother and sister and my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. At first sight, the Gospel seems to be excluding his mother. She was standing outside the room and he said, no, no, these disciples are my mother and my brother and my sisters, my family as it were. But of course, that was not so. Because Preeminent among the disciples of Christ, the one who was there at his very conception, who said, yes, may it be done to me according to your word, to the angel, and the one who was with him right at his death, the most faithful disciple, was Mary, the mother of our Lord. So, our Lord was saying, my family is anybody who does the will of God that I preach. And of course Mary, because of her self-dedication, not my will, but your will be done, she said right at the beginning of the Annunciation. Because of her self-dedication that we celebrate today, Mary is the greatest disciple, the mother of the Lord in a natural way. And also, as Jesus would acknowledge, his mother as the greatest disciple. So we honour the Blessed Virgin Mary for her great work in the salvation of the world, bringing the Saviour to us and following him so lovingly, so devotedly, even though a sword pierced our heart in doing so. We pray that we will always honour Our Lady. Lord, hear us. We remember that originally this feast came up when the first church dedicated to Our Lady was um, built in the valley going to Gethsemane from the ex uh, one of the gates of Jerusalem. And we pray for that land in all its difficulties. We pray for the Christians there, increasingly embattled by hostility and neglect. We remember them. Lord, hear us. And we pray for our own cares and difficulties, the people who come to mind in our own lives. And I pause for a moment, and you can add them. And we remember that Our Lady doesn't cease her work. Indeed, she's working very hard all over the world. So we put 
our cares through her, but always through her, to her blessed Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbour through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, <clears throat> Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> <coughs> The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, your deceased of the deceased of the Castleford family, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Who, oh, him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await with the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but to only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to take part spiritually in the Eucharist. I know you are devotedly praying this Mass with me, even though it's through a broadcast. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your church, O Lord, that grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may have noticed I changed the large host that is kept in the tabernacle to be put in the monstrance. We have, during the time when the church is open here at Grange, that's Thursday 10 till 12, Friday 10 to 12, the opportunity of praying before our blessed Lord exposed in the sacrament in the monstrance here. Um, there are also other opportunities 
of praying in our churches, of the Kent Estuary Catholic Churches group. On Thursday again, 10 to 11 o'clock at Arnside, and this coming Sunday, 10.30 to 11 on Sunday at Christ the King. And it will be a lovely time to visit Christ the King if you are, if that's your church, because we celebrate the 50 years of its construction on that day, on the Feast of Christ the King. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.